Hola everybody, Ian here, and I'm excited to present a new coffee today. This one pretty much caught my eye. I was shopping in Home Goods to pick up some goods for the home. Saw this one had like a colorful little hummingbird on it, so I thought, what the heck, give her a rip. Uh, this one is called the Costa Rica Terrazu kind of coffee blend that they got. It's from a company listed as Adventure Weights Coffee Roasters. I looked it up. I could not find a lick of a trace of who the heck Adventure Weights Coffee Roasters even are. But it says it's distributed by Great Lakes Coffee Roasters, and they say they're based out of Buffalo, New York. So I dug a little deeper on them. They got nothing on their website. It basically just says... <laughs> We're coffee roasters and we're on the Great Lakes. I, <laughs> I tried to dig a little deeper for you guys. Most I could find is that they formed their LLC in 2016 and that's about it. So I'm just so you don't feel robbed, I've got some fun facts for you. I decided to do, apologies for the noise, some research on Costa Rica, the country itself. So what the heck, let's get into it. Costa Rica, their capital is San Jose. They have a population of around 5 million. Costa Ricans and an unknown number of Puerto Ricans. They're one of the few nations in the world without a standing army, so that's pretty cool. It looks like they abolished it back in 1948. Good on you. And yeah, it means the rich coast. Well, that's pretty self explanatory. I have heard Costa Rican coffees are quite excellent. So I'm pretty excited to take what region is known for good coffee, put one of these together. See what we get. got my freshly brewed coffee from Adventure Awaits. Here's kind of like a closer look at the package here. Like I said before, I was super, I guess, attracted to the packaging. Super bright, super colorful. You don't see that a lot up here in the kind of the North Dakota, Minnesota region. Everything's usually a lot closer to like that Folgers style where it's like that flat red or like Campbell's, wait, <laughs> Cameron's <laughs> that I reviewed last week where it's kind of got more plain colors. This one bright, bombastic, but it all seems to fit. Even like, even the Adventure Weights logo I really like. It's kind of like making the mountains look perky. Like this blend is gonna really wake you up. The only thing I found kind of odd is they have all this like super, like bright, good branding material on three sides, but on the back they got kind of like just a plain sentence, which kind of throws it off. But enough about me talking about packaging. I went to about zero years of marketing and branding school. So let's jump into the coffee itself. Hmm. It's an interesting scent. It's like a, it's almost like a kind of fruity scent, but not like a, not like a good fruity scent, which seems odd, but that doesn't matter. I'm not here to sniff coffee. I'm here to drink it. So let's give it a try. Hmm. 
<laughs> All right, the verdict is in. So you probably could read my face already. This coffee is not an oh yeah coffee. I'm just gonna scooch that over out of the frame real quick. This one, it's definitely not a meh coffee. This this one, this one might be a little bit beyond oof. This one might be oofal. Just, it's just not very good. The flavor, which shout out to Morgan for asking me to go deeper into the flavor profile. The flavor, it almost tastes a little fruity, but kind of like the scent is like, that slight taste of what could be fruity, but not in a good way. And the more I drink it, I think it's worse when you actually do sniff it before you drink it. Um, so yeah, I would give this one a wide berth. This one, this one gets an oof for me, a pretty hefty oof at that. Um, I would drink this one if I had absolutely no other coffee or tea in the house and I'm not even a tea drinker, so probably avoid this one. I'm also, I'm, I would normally would love to link, a direct link to purchase coffees for each coffee review. Unfortunately, this company's website's very dodgy and I don't feel comfortable sending anybody to their website to purchase, purchase this. Cause I even dug through the website and I can't even find them offering this. That I find like two similar products that they offer. But again, the website's so iffy. I just don't feel comfortable sending anybody that way. So if you want to try it, feel free to do a deep dive yourself, go find it, give it a try. Who knows? Maybe you'll love it. Uh, but if you have tried it before, if you want to try it, if you want to do the deep dive and try it for yourself, feel free to comment below on what you want to do. As always, um, you can always pick up my stuff as well. I'm going to link my store below as well. And then we'll shoot. <laughs> Until next time, see you next time.